Hi, all you music lovers out there. My name is Andy Rodriguez, also known as the Black Spinner. And if you're new to our channel, what we do here is that we go through my album collection. We are doing it in alphabetical order and in chronological order. And I've been collecting records for over 20 years, and it's my hobby, and I really enjoy it. This is our seventh episode. In our seventh episode, we're going to continue with the letter C. And this is also a special presentation episode. Our first, our first special presentation episode was for was with the Beatles, where I, where I reach a point in the letter where I have to devote the whole episode to one band or one artist. And today in the letter C, today we are going to devote to Eric Clapton. Now right here. I have in my hand is the cream of Clapton, which is a CD of his greatest hits. I know what you, what y'all are saying out there, but wait, Mr. Black Spinner, are you becoming a silver splinter? A silver spinner? No, I'm not. It's just that this is going to be our topic. This CD here, um, the cream of Clapton, has um his greatest hits from. From, from the beginning to um, the end of this era when this was released. So we're going to go through the era of Eric Clapton on vinyl that I own. And we are going to start off with a 1966 release of the Blues Breakers, John Mayhaw with Eric Clapton. Uh, this was released after Eric Clapton left the Yardbirds. I don't have anything by, by the Yardbirds. I just have to look for it. But I've had this for a while now, for maybe about 10 or 15 years, and I, I used to hear it quite a bit, for some reason I stopped. I thought because of the sound wasn't good, because, you know, it's kind of older. But um, I took it out this morning, and it looked great, and before I went to work, I threw it on, and man, it sounds great. This is a really good um, album. I really enjoy it. Um, the key tracks here was All Your Love. Um, hideaway, um, double crossing time. Also, they do a wonderful cover of Ray Charles. What I say, you, um, y'all know that song, right? Tell your ma, tell your pa, you're, you're going back to Arkansas, I, or maybe I'm just go something like that. And um, rambling on my mind, which is um, a blues standard, and key to love. But Eric Clapton really stands out on this this album here, and also a key. Key note, um, the bass player is John McVeigh, who after this will go on and become famous in um, another blues outfit and a pop outfit called um, Fleetwood Mac. And they and Eric Clapton only made one album with them, and he went on to form a super group with the band Cream. This is their debut album, Fresh Cream. This is along with uh, Ginger Baker and, oh my lord, and, I'm sorry, and Jack Bruce. And this was a phenomenal band. Not just because Eric Clapton was in it, but because all three band members had something to give in this band. Um, Ginger Baker was a, fan, was a fantastic drummer, and Jack Bruce was a great bass player, but his voice, he sang most of the songs on cream and the way that his voice was I really really liked it a lot and the standout tracks on this one was I feel free which was one of their release one of their I believe it was their first single released um, NSU sleepy times a little slow but still it's um it's Bruce's voice that really makes that song and um Rolling and Tumbling, which is a Muddy Waters um, cover, and I'm So Glad, and Toad. Um, Toad was more of a drum workout by Ginger Baker. And um, I'm So Glad, I think I mentioned that. That was also a um, big hit off the, uh, this album. And the second release by Cream is their best one in my opinion. This is my favorite album by them, which is Disraeli Gears. There's not a paper insert in there, just basic, but there's your album there by Atco, and this has just 
a great list of songs on here. Sunshine, um, Sunshine of Your Love, Strange Brew, um, World of Pain, um, Dance the Night Away is a really good song. And they also had a collaborator here by the name of Peter Brown who wrote most of the songs with Jack Bruce on on here on um, a lot of the Cream songs. Um, Tales of Brave Ulysses. Brave, um, Tales of Brave Ulysses might be one of my, well, not my favorite song on this album, but it is a very big standout song. The way, again, the way that Jack Bruce sings and the way that the way that Eric Clapton and Ginger Baker just cascade through up and down with their rhythms on that song. It, it's just great. It's what, um, I don't know how to pronounce this song, but Slabar, S-W-L-A-B-R. That's another good song. Uh, We're Going Wrong. We're Going Wrong, I mean, it's only a few lines repeated over and over, but it's such a haunting song and, and the way that Ginger Baker and, um, of course, Jack Bruce's voice and bass playing just go together. It's a great song. And um, Outside Woman Blues is also another good song. That's almost six or seven songs off this album that I named. It's fantastic. And next we have here is a treat that Cream gave us, um, which is a double album. One side is live and one side is a studio album. And Wheels of Fire by Cream. Wheels of Fire. Here's the inside of it. If you can see it, look at that. That's pretty neat. Uh, look at all that psychedelic um, detail on there. And the songs on here are um, in the studio, White Room, Sitting on the Top of the World. And side two on here. Let's go with Politician and Born Under a Bad Sign. Born Under a Bad Sign. If it wasn't for good luck, I wouldn't have... No, if it wasn't for bad luck, I wouldn't have luck at all. That's a good line right there. And on side... And on the second album here is a live live side. And um, side three has Crossroads, which is the version that we always hear on the radio by um, Cream. Did they play that one on the radio? And again, Toad is on here for a second time. And Train Time... But um, this is a really good listen to. Um, when I first heard Cream, or like when I first got these albums, I thought they were okay. But as time has gone on, I've understood music a little bit more. And the more that I understand music, the more I not just stand, not more, not just understand Cream more, but I do understand Eric Clapton more. Not just for his guitar playing, but um, the the choices that he makes in music and um I'll I'll delve more into that when I get into his solo. This was their last album, Cream's last album, called Goodbye. That's a pretty cool album cover there. I think that's pretty cool. You know them saying goodbye, and um, on here again has I'm so glad a politician, sit on top of the world badge, and water bring down. Is there yeah, the inside. Check that out. It's got like headstones because this is goodbye. And uh, each headstone has the name of a song on there. And in between here and there, they, rele they released a couple of live albums. There's Live Cream. And the songs that are on here is Nasso, um, Sleepy Time Time, Lot of Mama. And then I have also Live Cream Volume 2. This one has a couple of songs on there. Um, Politicians on here again. Um, White Room and Tales of Brave Ulysses. And Sunshine of Your Love and Stepping Out. Which um, Sunshine of Your Love is a standout. Tales of Brave Ulysses and Politician and White Room. Um, there's only six tracks on this, so we can already imagine how long these songs are. And what I have here is the first Cream album that I ever bought. It was a best of, or the very best of, Cream, Strange Brew. This is still my favorite compilation by them. I know there's a lot of compilations out there of Cream. And there's also more exhaustive 
long um, albums of best of, of by them. But I really enjoyed this one. This is short and sweet. It's got Badge, is, um, which is a song written with uh, George Harrison of the Beatles. Um, Sunshine of Your Love, Crossroads, White Room, and Born Under a Bad Sign. Um, Strange Brew, and Anyone for Tennis is only on this compilation, probably other compilations, but the first time they came out was on this one here. Um, I Feel Free, Politician, and Spoonful. The only thing that I have to gripe about this that I don't like compilations that don't go in chronological order. I like to, to see how a band or an artist mature. I really don't like it when they start putting, you know, the, the first release that they ever did, like I Feel Free, it was the third song on side two, but, you know, it's all right. And I found another compilation by them, and this one was done by Springboard Records, and if you're not too familiar with Springboard Records, they were a record company that was around, I guess, in the 70s, and they made a lot of compilations. And um, these compilations, they're not the greatest hits compilations, but that's what makes them interesting. Not that I'm against greatest hits, because if it wasn't for greatest hits or hit songs, a lot of these bands wouldn't go anywhere unless they have a hit single to get them farther. And the more hit singles they have, the more time they buy. Um, this compilation here just says Early Cream. And the songs on here are not um, anything that... Um, you will say, oh yeah, that's my favorite Cream song. Oh yeah, I've heard that one a lot. Um, no. But it is very good. And the songs on here, just for you people that are interested, um, Louise, uh, Five Long Years, Early in the Morning, Too Much Monkey Business, The First Time I Met the Blues, and Stormy Monday. You know, a lot of these are blues traditional songs. And after that, um, Eric Clapton left Cream. Oh well, they broke up. And he went on to do Blind Faith along with Ginger Baker and um, the lead singer of Traffic, which is um, Steve Winwood and also a bass player by the name of Rich Greck. And Rich Greck was a session player that played in a lot of um, other bands in the English blues or English rock circle. And the songs on here, um, I've mentioned this album before in one of my earlier episodes doing the letter B but I will go through them. Had to Cry Today, and I Can't can't Find My Way Home, which is a great um, song. And also on here is a Eric Clapton song called Presence of the Lord. And you're going to see that song, Presence of the Lord, pop up quite a bit in um, Eric Clapton live albums that we're going to go through here in just a moment here. Oh, and side two, um, not much. The side one is what makes this album. And unfortunately, this is the one album they will make together. And now Eric Clapton goes solo. And we and I have his first solo album here. Eric Clapton from 1970. And um, the songs on here are... This was a very good album for him. And if people were expecting Guitar Hero Heroics, they were going to be disappointed. He really focused on the songs and the music not just on his electric guitar playing and not his big long solos and the blues he really put a lot of work into his music um, different um, rock song um, different sounds of rock pop, country gospel so if you're going to pick up a Eric Clapton album you're going to be surprised of what you hear and this is no disappointment this is great also he does play a lot of guitar on here. There are good good long solos on here, but it's not what you're expecting to hear, and that's what makes it great. Um, there's so much variety on this album. The songs on here are um, Slunky, which is the debut track, which is the first track on side one, and it's an instrumental. And Eric really does show his guitar chops on that song. Uh, Bad Boy's pretty good. Lonesome and a long way from here is good. After Midnight, of course, was a J.J. Kale song, and that was a big hit for him off of this album. Easy Now was a a um, pleasant acoustic song, I guess. Well, Blues Power was was also a single released on here, and Bottle Red Wine. 
This ends with Let It Rain. It was a good album. And after that, after his debut album in 1971, in 1970, 1971, he um, did a project with other band members and other friends, and they were called Derek and the Dominoes, and released this classic, classic album. It's called Layla and Other Assorted Love Songs. And there's the inside of different pictures of, of the band members and, and of Eric Clapton. And let me tell you something. This album here from beginning to end, it is a double album. And it's worth listening to from beginning to end. The um, Also, Dwayne Allman from the Allman Brothers appears on here on slide guitar. And every song on here is just great. And and there's so many times that you hear Eric Clapton playing playing the electric guitar going off the rails. You don't know which direction he's going to be going into on some of these songs. Um, here we got "I Looked Away," which is a which is a good pop rock song. And um, "Bell Bottom Blues" is a great great rock blues song. Um, "Keep On Growing," yeah yeah yeah, keep on. And that that one that song is one of the songs that have a good long um, guitar workout, and nobody knows when when you're down and out, which is a um, a cover song. I am yours, which is a nice little ballad. Uh, Any day in key to the highway. Those are great um, epic songs as well. And then the flip side of the album. Tell the truth is just a a great wicked wicked blues song with a little bit more of an uppity up rhythm more that more that you hear than on a blues song. And why this love had to be so bad? No, so sad. Why this love had to be so sad? I guess I sing that out loud wrong. And um, have you ever loved a woman? Which is a very slow slow um. Ballad, and then you still have side four. He does a co they do a cover of Jimi Hendrix Little Wing, and of course, we still have to talk about the about the title song Layla and the epic ending to Layla with the slide guitar and the piano and the acoustic guitars, and just the way that that song ends. It, it, it's one of my favorite pieces of music. And Thorn in the Tree of the Garden is a beautiful ballad that ends the album and um, it, this is great if y'all if you don't have this go ahead and stream it and then you're gonna wanna buy it and have a hard copy of it after that was a hard time for for Eric Clapton and he did a concert in between here and there and this is Eric Clapton's rainbow concert he had a lot of big names with him helping him out here which are like Pete Townsend and Ronnie Wood and Rick Greck and Steve Winwood. All these guys helped out. There's the inside of it, which is really neat. Look at that. Looks really neat. And there's Eric in those pictures here. And the songs on here are going to be live songs. Um, Badge, which is a um, holdover from his cream days. Again, like I said before, Presence of the Lord. That's such an epic song, and he will use that song quite a bit in live shows. And uh, Pearly Queen, After Midnight, and Little Wing. This is a really good album. I enjoyed it. And it took three years in between his debut album and his second album, which was 461 Ocean Boulevard. This is mainly a this is when Eric Clapton got into his laid-back state. Um, more more attention to the small details of a good rhythm is what he did. And the uh, standout tracks on here is Motherless Children, Give Me Strength, Willie and the Hand Drive, I Shot the Sheriff, which is a cover from a Bob Marley song. And, and um, Eric Clapton took it and he did pretty well for himself with that song. Um, Let It Grow and Mainline Florida. That There's Eric Clapton, 461 Ocean Boulevard. And after that, after a three year hiatus in between album number one, album number two, he started cranking them out. Not long after that one was Eric Clapton's 
there's one in every crowd and no picture in there in the back Eric Clapton back there and the songs on here it starts off with a song called we've been told Jesus is coming soon as you can guess when I said Jesus is com Jesus coming soon it's a very good gospel song with gospel singers in the background and a gospel rhythm to it, it, it it's a really good song and swing low swing chariot little Rachel and a version of the sky is crying which um was to me in my eyes was made famous by Stevie Ray Vaughan now there are different lyrics but I still prefer prefer the Stevie Ray Vaughan version and I'll talk to, about Stevie Ray Vaughan when I get to the V's so hold on for that please please hang out with us for us to get to the V's and side two better make it through today and opposites um, closes out the album and it closes it out strong and then Eric Clapton will release another live album. EC was here. There's the back of it. And the name of the album, the songs on here that he does live is Have You Ever Loved a Woman? And that is, that's already a slow burner. And this, he slows it down some more and really makes you feel the guitar on there. Uh, Presence of the Lord comes out again. Um, can't find my way home which was a blind faith song and they do it here as well and further on up the road which is a um a blue standard further on further on up the road someone's going to use you like you done me good song and over here we have eric clapton no reason to cry this one here is notable for having um, the band, the band with him, Eric Clapton was always in awe of them, and in fact, he's always he would say back then that he wanted to leave his solo career and join the band, but there was no room for him because of Robbie Robertson. And also, there's a song on here with Bob Dylan that Bob Dylan helped write, and that one's "Hello, Old Friend." But I was very surprised that this wasn't as good as I thought it would be. You know, with Bob Dylan and the band and Eric Clapton together on one album. But, you know, it just doesn't work out. And I wish it would have. And then, uh, Eric Clapton will hit the big time with Slow Hand. There's the gate insert of that. That's pretty cool. And then the inside of it. And I've seen Eric Clapton a couple of times. My wife and I have seen him two times. And the songs on here are Cocaine, uh, Wonderful Tonight, which is um, me and my wife's song. We played that at our wedding. And when we first heard it live was, um, the first time we heard it live together was in Dallas, Texas at the Cotton Bowl when uh, one of his Eric Clapton's cro Crossroads shows. And that was a special time for us. So that's always been our song. And Lay Down Sally which is a good song. Um, Next Time You See Her is a really good um, um, pop ballad, I, I want to say. It's not a slow ballad. It's not fast. It's just a nice little rhythm to it. And um, on Sight to the Core and Mino Frisco. This was an album that was a big hit for him, Slow Hand. And after that, we have Eric Clapton, Backless. Um, this album was okay. Um, this is not one of my favorites. It's not one that I reach for when I want to hear Clapton. Um, let me see here. Um, Roll It was okay. I'll Make Love to You Anytime was all right. And Promises. Oh, my God. I almost forgot Promises. Promises is, is a really good ballad. And um, it's one of my favorite Eric Clapton songs, period. I love the song Promises. And it's tucked away, but I love it. It's tucked away on that album. Let me see, does this... What was in the inside? In the inside, that's pretty cool with a shadow of him. And after that was another album was just okay. Another ticket. Um, I heard this the other day before I did the show. And um, there's the inside of it. 
And there wasn't anything really here that I said, oh, wow, I can't believe that this is... A oh, you know what? I can't stand it, which is okay. It's your 80s um, AOR hit on the radio, which there's nothing wrong with hit, rate, with hit radio. I just, I just didn't care for that song. Then over here we have Time Pieces, Eric Clapton, The Best Of. This is a really good compilation. I had borrowed this from a friend of mine's dad and I never gave it back. I guess I'm still borrowing it 30 years later. Um, sorry, Johnny. Um, I Shot the Sheriff After Midnight, Knock on Heaven's Door, Wonderful Tonight, and Layla, all on side one, side two. Um, Promises, that's where I had first heard Promises, what was on in here. Swing Low, Swing Chariot, Willie and the Hand Jive. But really, side one is, is really good of this compilation. And then another live album, um, One Night Only, um, is it One Night Only? Um, just One Night. And um, I bought this used, I don't know who Cornell is, but he seemed to love his name because he wrote it all over the place. I got a couple of albums that say Cornell on it. And um, here's the inside of it. That's pretty neat. This is in his 80s phase. And all the hits are on here. Tulsa Time, um, Lay Down Sally, Wonderful Tonight, um, After Midnight, Blues Power, Further On Up The Road, and Rambling On My Mind, another song that appears time and time again on these albums here that are live, and just paper inserts. And we have next my one of my favorite Eric Clapton albums, Money and Cigarettes. This was, I don't know, it was widely panned, but I always heard, eh, it was an okay album. There's the back of it right there. Looks like a guitar was ironed. But everybody ought to make a change. The Shape You're In, Ain't Going Down, is a really good song. And I, and I promise you, it sounds like the beginning of um of Jimmy Hendrix's version of um along along the watchtower the first time I heard it, I was like is that along the watchtower and still when it pops up I was like is that along the watchtower um I've got a rock and roll heart and man overboard uh, man in love pretty girl yeah this is a really good Eric Clapton album that a lot of people just overlook and it's enjoyable next we have Eric Clapton Behind the Sun. This is kind of not a good one in my in my opinion. There's the inside of it. This is mid 80s produced um, by Phil Collins of Genesis and also Phil Collins plays quite a bit drums on here. Um, She's Waiting was a big hit. Still to get yeah, Knock on Wood was a good song. Um Forever Man was was an okay song, and um, yeah, this was just okay. Um, I might even put this towards the bottom of, of my Eric Clapton list, along with this one, Eric Clapton August. These started just to these two albums kind of run into each other for me. It's in the way that you use it which was for the movie uh, called The Color of Money, which I'm not too sure if y'all remember, but The Color of Money was a pool movie, was a movie about pool, pool sharks, I guess, with Paul Newman and Tom Cruise. Um, Tearing Us Apart, Bad Influence, pretty good, and Hold On, but other than that, there's the inside of it, other than that, it was just all right. But he does redeem himself. Uh, one of my favorite albums by him. This might be in my top five. Eric Clapton, Journeyman. This album is fantastic. I love it. There's the inside of it. I like it. And this has Pretending. I was just pretending. Anything for your love, which is a slow ballad. Anything for your love. Um, bad Love, No More, Bad Love. Um, he does a cover of Hound Dog and also Running on Faith. 
Running on Faith, I really fell in love with on the Eric Clapton Unplugged um, album, which I've got on CD. I don't have an album. That's why it's not a part of this. And um, But that's where I really fell in love with it. Um, Psych 2, No Alibis, um, Old Love, which is also a big hit on the on the um, Eric Clapton Unplugged and on here it's really good I really enjoy that song and Breaking Point and Before You Accuse Me take a look at yourself and that song he had done I believe on the Derek and the Dominoes and the last but not least the Eric Clapton album that I have is 24 Nights another double live album by Eric or Mr. Clapton. I make it sound like I know the guy. And there's the inside of it. There's a lot of um, notes on here and a lot of um, um, liner notes in here. For instance, um, side one of the album consists of a four-piece band. Um, side two is a blues band that consists of him and Robert Cray and Buddy Guy. And then on side three is a nine-piece band. And um, on side four is an orchestra. And this album here has all the hits that um, that they can muster on a double album. Even back to the cream days, we're talking about Badge and Running Off Faith, White Room, and Sunshine of Your Love on side one. And um, Running Off Faith we just talked about is on Journeyman. And then he combined it with three cream songs on side one which is great you know just to hear his whole zone there and side two which was the blue side I'm guessing um, this has um, have you ever loved a woman and hoodoo man and on side three which was the nine piece band which is going to consist of percussion and and drums and keyboards. I'm trying to see if there's a, a, a lot of backing vocals on here with him. I was thinking that maybe there might be horns since it was a nice nine-piece band, but I don't see anything written there of horns. But it's got pretending, bad love, and old love. Bad to old. And then um, side four has Bill Bottom Blues and The Edge of Darkness. And that concludes... Uh, my Eric Clapton albums. Thank you so much for going through these with me. I really enjoy doing these. If you can please um, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time when we will tackle the D's and the D's will feature Bob Dylan which will probably have his own episode and Deep Purple which will probably also have their own episode. So please um, join me in the future while I go through my record collection. You know, while, while I've been doing this, um, I really hope that y'all are having as much fun as I am because I'm going through albums that I'm like, man, you know what? I really haven't heard these in a while. So I spin them before I talk to y'all about them. And I'm like, man, especially, you know, you know, I'm talking about this, but uh, when it came to Eric Clapton, like I was saying, his music's so different on almost every album that when I started listening to Eric Clapton's solo, I was, man, I was kind of disappointed because it doesn't have that big guitar heroics, long guitar solos. But as I got older, I was like, man, you know what? Now I understand what he's doing. He's playing along with the music. And not only is he a great guitar player, but he's really shaped himself for being a really fine musician in all types of music with different genres and he didn't always make himself the focal point of the band he let the music breathe and grow within his albums well that's all that I have about Eric Clapton I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you decide to look more deep into the music of Eric Clapton thank you guys take care of yourselves good night